G'day, Simon Thomas here. Now I know this pandemic has caused an awful lot of suffering around the world, but it's also given me cause for thanks. And especially for those essential workers, the people it turns out society really does need after all to keep this crazy show on the road. So for all of you people out there doing your jobs to keep us safe, I dedicate this poem to you. It's called Lockdown Thanksgiving. I rejoice for the oil that didn't get burned, for the plastic that never got sold. I'm glad for the ones who had fun with their kids, for the games that they played and the stories they told. My heart skips a beat when I think, what a treat it must be for many I know, to shun the alarm and lay arm in arm with their lover, because they've got nowhere to go. I'm happy to hear that the sky became clear when it used to be smoggy and brown and streams running clean where pollution had been, wild animals strolling through town. How great must it be for the fish in the sea, dolphins, the walrus, the seals, to have less of our muck in their gills getting stuck and no plastic bags in their meals. My friends are all baking, they're cooking a storm, they're getting their hands in the dough. They're serving their buns to a long, loving lunch. They're moving from fast food to slow. They're getting all mellow and playing the cello or starting a new renovation. They're building a bench while practicing French or entering deep hibernation. I think what a fool I was at school and how much I hated to go. I'm sure there are some who are glad to be home. <laughs> Wasn't at school where I learned what I know. Perhaps it's a chance for them just to dance or maybe they'll learn to be kind or how to take care of the little ones there. I don't call that falling behind. And then there's the folk who are actually stoked to be finally left all alone to sit with themselves, with their minds and their hearts, and gradually chill to the bone. For them it's not scary being lonesome and hairy, in fact, they're enjoying the peace. And I know that for some, their time has now come, and this lock-up is more like... release. And I wonder sometimes how we're all going to feel when this virus has loosened its grip, Will we think of this time in our lives as quite real, or see it as some kind of trip? I hope we might cherish the things that will perish. The fleeting, the fragile, the frail. And I pray we might be a, a new kind of free when we flee from our self-imposed jail.